On November 30th, 2021, a Twitter user from Dallas reported that her doorbell camera had recorded a suspicious man standing outside of her apartment almost every night for an entire month. According to her tweet, she had already reached out to the authorities, but they hadn't done enough to keep the man away. This is what her ring camera captured. In most of the clips, the man can be seen standing eerily still outside of the woman's apartment, possibly waiting for her to come outside. At one point in the video, the man can be heard talking, but his words are difficult to make out. It's unknown what he planned to do if the woman stepped out of her apartment, but judging by his behavior, it likely wasn't anything good. After the original upload, the disturbing video immediately went viral, with hundreds of people checking in on the woman to make sure she was safe. Two days later, the woman posted an update on Twitter, in which she mentioned that her friends and family had confronted the man, and that security had been on the lookout for him. Many people who viewed the video urged the uploader not to let her guard down, and reminded her that the likelihood that the man would show up again was very high. But after the last tweet in December 2021, there haven't been any more updates, and the man's identity hasn't been publicly revealed. This clip was captured in November 2019 in Harriet Creek Ranch, Texas. It was later uploaded to TikTok and Facebook. The footage shows a little girl holding a flashlight and knocking on the door of an unoccupied house in the middle of the night. The girl is obviously scared, but because nobody else can be seen on the camera, it's hard to tell who or what she was running from. As she continues to knock and beg for help, she looks over her shoulder several times, but the footage ends abruptly, leaving many questions unanswered. Shortly after it was recorded, the video was made public and police were notified of the incident, but from what I was able to find, the girl was never identified. Some think that she was being used as bait to get the homeowners to open the door, and several people commented on Facebook and TikTok that they could clearly see a man hiding in the shadows behind the girl, but it was never confirmed whether that's what was happening or if the little girl was actually in danger and genuinely asking for help. Another theory that surfaced is that the girl in the video might have been the same girl from a missing person case in South Dakota. In February 2019, a nine-year-old girl named Serenity Denard ran away from a youth home in Black Hills and was allegedly seen in Justin, Texas a few days before the video was recorded. The fact that the little girl knocked on the door of an unoccupied house shows that she clearly didn't live in the area, otherwise she would have known nobody was there, which makes this theory a possibility. Although there's definitely a resemblance between the girl in the video and Serenity, police didn't confirm whether the video and the missing person case were related. Unfortunately, not a lot of official information on this footage has been made public, and we'll likely never know what ended up happening to the little girl. In this disturbing ring camera footage from 2021, a woman in a hoodie can be seen approaching the front door of a house in the middle of the night. Behind her, a man wearing a face mask and a lanyard stands on the steps as she rings the doorbell. Doorbell cameras are meant for homeowners to see who's at their door and communicate with their visitors to decide whether or not it's a good idea to let them in. But in this case, the owner opens the door without hesitation. Hello, do y'all have a phone I can use? My car broke down and y'all's the only one that got a light on. We don't. You don't? Sorry. 
The woman tells him that her car broke down and asks if she can use his phone. The owner politely refuses, but as soon as he apologizes and closes the door, the man with the face mask tries to break into the house with a weapon in hand. Fortunately, the owner had locked the second door just in time. It's unknown if he called the police, but from what I could find, the identities of the man and woman haven't been revealed. What makes this footage even more chilling is the fact that there's a playground in the yard, which means the two had specifically targeted a house where they knew there would most likely be kids inside. Had the homeowner not reacted quickly, he and his family would have probably been the victims of an armed robbery or possibly much worse. In February 2020, an off-duty police officer received a message from his neighbor asking him to go check on his wife because somebody was trying to break into their house and the woman was home alone. The man immediately walked across the street to his neighbor's house but didn't see anything suspicious. When he came back, he saw that his neighbor had sent him this clip. The video shows a shirtless man crawling up the stairs to the front entrance of the house and attempting to open the door. Realizing it's locked, he walks back down the stairs and makes his way to the side of the house. After viewing the footage, the man immediately called 911, and 10 minutes later, four officers arrived in the neighborhood with a canine unit to help track down the intruder. What followed was an intense game of cat and mouse involving the neighbors, the police, and the shirtless man. Although he was spotted by the neighbors multiple times, he managed to slip away from the cops every single time. Several minutes into the search, the man heard his neighbor calling from across the street, saying that he could hear someone in his backyard. The two men scoured the outside of the house and eventually found that the back porch light had been unscrewed, but the shirtless man was nowhere to be seen. About an hour later, the man who uploaded the video walked down onto his back deck and spotted the intruder unscrewing another porch light, this time from the house across the street. With weapon in hand, the man intercepted the intruder and ordered him to get on the ground, but the shirtless man took off running and ended up sneaking into the crawl space of a nearby house. The uploader waited until the police arrived, and after he was ordered out of the crawl space, the intruder was charged with two counts of aggravated burglary, trespassing, public intoxication, and disorderly conduct. Police revealed that the subject was under the influence of hard drugs and had an outstanding warrant for failing to appear in court for another open case of burglary from earlier that same year. It's unclear if he was convicted of all the charges against him, but considering his criminal history, it's more than likely that he's still serving time today. This footage was captured at 4.30 a.m. on April 29th, 2023. It happened in El Paso, Texas. The video shows a young woman running up to the front door of a house and ringing the doorbell. Although nobody else can be seen in the frame, terrified she looks over her shoulder multiple times as if she was being followed. The woman begs for help and starts crying when nobody answers the door, and a few seconds later, a car's headlights come into view in the background. As soon as she sees the light, the woman crouches down behind a column, and she does the same thing again when she sees the neighbor's driveway lights turn on.
After a few minutes of waiting, a car's headlights illuminate the driveway and the woman walks down the steps towards it. It's possible that she got in the car, but this wasn't caught on the ring camera. As soon as the footage was made public, many people started speculating that the woman might have been the victim of trafficking and was trying to escape her captors, but others believe that she had a totally different motive. Several viewers mentioned that if she really had been in danger, she wouldn't have hid from the neighbors when she saw their driveway lights turn on. Another thing that caught viewers' attention is the fact that at the very beginning of the video, the woman isn't actually running. She appears to be casually walking up the steps, and she only begins to run when she comes into view of the doorbell camera, which suggests that the whole thing might have been a robbery setup. Less than a month after the footage was uploaded, El Paso police arrested 34-year-old Krista Nicole Cordell for burglary. After her mugshot was released, some people believed that it was the same woman from the video due to the resemblance, but police never officially confirmed this. It's unclear if she was ever seen in the neighborhood again. In 2022, a Reddit user uploaded this disturbing ring camera footage with the caption, Zombies want your brain. The video shows a young man in a bandana covered in what appears to be dirt or blood repeatedly slamming himself into the front door of a house. On his third attempt to break down the door, he apparently knocks himself out after hitting his head. Stumbling after the impact, the man collapses over the front porch railing, knocking over an ornament in the process. He groans in pain as he flails his arms and raises his legs, seemingly trying to get back on his feet, but the video ends before we can see what happened next. After the footage was uploaded, many viewers commented that the man was probably under the influence of hard drugs, which would explain his uncoordinated movements and violent behavior. Other users suggest that he might have had a seizure after hitting his head on the door, but because the video was uploaded with no context or explanation, it's impossible to confirm what actually happened. After that night, the homeowner never saw the man again. On July 24th, 2021, a woman named Caitlin Curtis took her baby to the park across the street from her house in Arizona. After sitting down on the bench next to a fountain, a scruffy looking man suddenly approached her, sat on the bench next to her, and asked her if she wanted to buy his drawings. According to Caitlin, the drawings looked like they had been drawn by a little kid, or by someone with no artistic talent. After politely refusing to buy the drawings, she got up and left the park with her baby in the stroller. As she was leaving, she saw the man get into the passenger seat of a suspicious looking truck at the other end of the park, which then circled around her several times as she made her way back home. Afraid that she was being followed, Caitlin took a different route back to her house and entered through the back door so that the men in the truck wouldn't know where she lived. Three days later, when Caitlin was out of town, her doorbell camera captured the same man walking up to the front door of her house and ringing the doorbell at 3 in the morning. According to Caitlin, her husband was asleep while the whole thing was happening, and he didn't learn about the man's visit until the next day. After the video was uploaded to TikTok, some users commented that the fact that the man rang her doorbell specifically was not a coincidence, and that he might have been watching her from the day they met in the park. It's possible that he was using the drawings to try and distract her while the other man in the truck abducted her child, but will likely never know his intentions for sure. The incident could just be written off as a man who was under the influence of drugs or suffering from mental illness, but if Caitlin hadn't been careful, it's anyone's guess what might have happened. Fortunately, the man never came back, and neither Caitlin nor her family had seen him again. 
In October 2021, Reddit user Protomancer uploaded this footage of a man crawling and slithering through his neighbor's yard in the middle of the night. There doesn't appear to be any context surrounding the video, but most users attributed the man's particular behavior to drug use or possibly mental illness. Even though he isn't hurting anybody, this is probably not the type of person you would want to run into on your way back from home in the middle of the night. The man in the footage hasn't been identified, and it's unclear if he ever showed up again.